Hey everyone, this is Robin from Our Wild Way, and today I'm going to share with you our prehistory unit study. We are going to be going from the Big Bang um, up until uh, the appearance of man. Um, our prehistory um, of prehistoric man is going to be the next unit that we do. Right now we're just going to concentrate on the, the origins of Earth and uh, the evolution of life up until the point of man. So um, I'll be going through all of these books with you and um, we're using um, Build Your Library Prehistory Unit Study. So I will be showing you a bit of that. I'll be showing you um, a bunch of the projects that we're gonna be doing, um, some of our fossil collection, um, and yeah, we've just, we've got, I've found so many fun resources to use with this unit. I'm so excited to share it with everybody. Okay, so, um, for the spine and the base of our prehistory unit, um, we are using the Build Your Library Prehistory Unit Study. And what this does is gives you a book list um, and it gives you kind of what to do week by week. I am really spreading this out um, because um, this curriculum only has about three weeks between the Big Bang and Prehistoric Man. We're spreading that out um, into about six weeks. And then we're gonna do another four to six weeks on um, prehistoric man um, up until about the time of ancients. Um, so, and then we're gonna just really dig into ancients. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, Here's our little workbooks. These come with the prehistory unit study from Build Your Library. Comes with the notebooking pages, with vocabulary words, and then some fun um, pages. Um, and the, um, timeline pages so it goes through each period now we're going through each period slowly we're reading a lot we're watching videos um, the kids and I did this art project this uh, universe painting art project which I will link down in the comments as soon as the video is ready but I did do a tutorial um, for all of you it's very simple very quick and it actually turned out pretty darn good I think um, we used the kids use theirs for the covers of their notebooks and they're working out really, really well. Um, these are the spines that we are using for prehistory and we will continue to be using these. Um, so this Virginia Lee Burton book, Life Story, is really, really a wonderful story. It's the story of life on Earth from the beginning until now. Um, it really does just start at the beginning. It's beautifully illustrated. It's well written. Um, it's very simple, but it's concise and it's easy for the kids to to follow. It's easy for the kids to get on board with. I really love um, her books. They're wonderful. So it kind of has um, a few pages per per section and um, it's really nicely divided by periods. The next one, um, we will be using this book for the next, I mean for years, <laughs> years and years. But it's so wonderful. It starts, again, it starts with the Big Bang and goes through till um, the end of the 1800s. I believe it goes until the 20th century, or not the 20th century, the turn of the century, the last one. So it starts at the prehistoric world. It has internet links. It's concise. So we've got fossils. Let me show you. So this is where we're at right now. And um, every week I just have the kids pick an animal from one of the time periods and draw a picture of it in their little journal. This is my lightning bolt. But this is a great book. And then we're gonna use this again for uh, prehistoric man. We're gonna use it for ancient Egypt and all of it. I mean, this is, 
If you plan on doing history at all, I highly recommend this book. I will also link this in the comments because it is a winner and I think every homeschool household should have it. Um, this is another good one that we'll be using kind of as a spine for this year and the next, well, years. Early Earth. This is a wonderful series and I absolutely love DK books. I have a huge collection. Um, so here's Early Earth. And then it just kind of works its way up. Um, but it goes continent by continent. Okay, so this one, just this section here, we're going to use for this unit, this Early Earth. Okay, now moving on. Once we finish the big thumb, we move on to um, the beginning of life and the story of evolution and how life evolved on Earth. This book we found at the library and it is Billions of Years, Amazing Changes, The Story of Evolution. And I like it so far. It's a mix of um, illustrations and photographs. There's a lot of information in here. Um, I, I really like how concise it is. I think it's a good one to check out from the library and read through it. It talks about Darwin. It talks about the different types of fossils. Um, something oh fun that we're gonna do with fossils is we're gonna do a DIY fossil dig. We're also gonna do make your own fossils, which I will share with everybody um, as soon as we do them, as soon as the videos are ready. Um, and I'll link them in the comments. So this is a good one. This is mostly all about evolution. And this is another great one. And this one is going to be for um, the toddler. And ev no, it's going to be for everybody, but the, the baby will really enjoy it. Um, this is Grandmother Fish. I think everybody should have this book, A Child's First Book of Evolution. It's gorgeous. It's beautifully illustrated. Um, excuse the noise in the background. The kids are enjoying themselves. <laughs> But this is really great. Um, I'm going to be setting up sens several sensory bins for the little one um, with, with this topic. I'm going to show you one towards the end. Um, but it's just it's so cute. It is so cute. I love this book. I really, really love this book. It's precious. Okay, so next dinosaurs and pre-dinosaurs. So these two books by National Geographic are awesome. There's a whole series of these. Um, um, first we have, I think this one goes first. When bugs were big, plants were strange, and um, tetrapods stalked the earth. So a cartoon of prehistory of life before the dinosaurs. So these are all illustrated, obviously. Um, and there's a lot of good information in here. They're fun books. And there's a ton of information. So um, uh, these we're doing as bedtime. Uh, we're reading these at bedtime. My kids, they're so much better like being read to at nighttime. So we end up reading a ton at bedtime. This one, when fish got feet, sharks got teeth, and bugs began to swarm. So we are squeezing the, these in. Mommy, Mark. Shows what they were like during different periods. This is where we're at right now, the Devonian period. And let's go sharks. We're gonna go do some hunting for prehistoric shark teeth on the beach, um, of which we have found one of those guys so far. Oh, I should have pulled it out and showed you guys. Next video. Okay, so done with these. Now we are on to um, dinosaurs. And I wanted to show you a couple of cool little things that I found at the dollar spot at Target um, that have kept the kids occupied. Um, the kids did these. Um, they were $3 at the dollar spot, which and these were a dollar. So you can't beat that. Um, these, the kids just painted while I read to them. 
and they have the little fossils in there. So it kind of illustrates how it, if the dinosaur, you know, fell over, that's how the fossil would end up. Okay, so those are cool. Super simple little things like this while you're reading, um, I think really help kids retain information uh, better than if they were just sitting staring into space. Um, this is a cool, yeah, it's just super simple and fun. You know, fuck each, we're doing dinos. Can't, can't lose there. Okay, I have this book. Um, this is the Encyclopedia Prehistorica. And it's dinosaurs. And this is just such a cool book. Check it out. There are so many different little pockets. And I am such a sucker for pop-up books. But, um... I really have to be kind of choosy about how much I spend on them because my kids can be a little rough with things. Um, mostly I really just keep my eyes out for these at Goodwill. I think that's where I've gotten all of these. That's almost where I get all my books. But there's just, these interactive books like this are just so cool. Yeah, this one, okay, is, he got a little smushed. Okay. But yeah, lots of info in here, lots of fun. Look at this guy. I don't know if you can see it. Super fun, lots of info. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> What's next? This is another pop-up book, but it's not quite as um, intense as that one was. Um, this one has a lot of cool little fold-outs, and it's just packed full of information. It has a nice timeline in it as well. Really well illustrated, too. Shows the changing of the earth. Fun. I think there's a yeah, there's a pop-up. Just interactive. Lots of good info. Okay, so dinosaurs, dinosaurs. This book I just got at the library and I'm so excited about it. I think we might have to actually get it. Um, it's really, really cool. Why is that small? Sounds all about the changing of the earth, the earth inside. Thank you. <laughs> We've also made um, this clay earth as a model um, for the inside of the earth and what is inside the earth. Yeah. This, and I did a whole video on it. It's gotten a little smushed because the kids have been playing with it quite a lot, but <laughs> um, there it is. I also have a video on this and how to do it. Um, and that's going to be linked down in the comments. There's so many fun activities to do with this stuff. And this book is so well illustrated. I just, I really love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love this book. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. Look at this. Tiny fossil hatchling of a Mosasaurus. So cool. And with all of these things, we are going to be um, kind of going through. I love how it goes through by continent, too. This yeah, book is awesome. 
Oh yeah, this book's awesome. No, I'm gonna have to get this one. Okay, um, one of the really fun things that we are going to do is I'm gonna do a DIY um, fossil hunt. And with the fossil hunt, we're going to be reading these books, The Dinosaur Hunters, The Big Adventure, Fossil, um, Eyewitness Book, and The Dinosaur Dig. Um, we are going to be looking through our collection of fossils. Um, we'll be talking about what kind of fossils they are, what periods they're from, how they were formed, and then we're gonna do some DIY fossils um, that we form in kind of the same fashion out of some nice um, natural clays. These are what I'm gonna use to make the fossils um, and then some impressions. This kit is what we're gonna use for our um, dino dig. This was from a DK um, model making kit and I will show you more about that in the video for the DIY um, fossil hunt activity that we do. Uh, but there's some cool stuff in here. This is our fossil box. We just, oh, we always have this. I put it away though, um, because like this is fragile. I dropped it the other day and broke off a big half, a big corner of it. So these are the dinosaur skulls and these are from Safari the safari tube and I will be using these for the little toddler thing that I'm gonna do and these are the mammal tube um, and the elephant yeah, so these are mammals and these are the dinos okay let me show you what I'm gonna do for the toddler Except everybody will enjoy it, not just the toddler. Okay. Container, when the time comes, but... I'll just do something like this super simple and effective to get the point across. Okay, pack it down. And then I'll probably give her like a little, um, tiny little shovel or a little, little spoon and a, and a hard bristled paintbrush to kind of get the fossils out. There we have it. Um, you could also use something like that in there. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, we have been really enjoying this prehistory unit. Um, if you're interested in taking a look at the unit study that we're using, head over to Build Your Library. Um, I will put a link to it down in the comments, uh, but her unit studies and curriculums are great. Um, we have done quite a few of them but we are really enjoying this one. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. We've got a whole bunch more coming up on this topic and we do all kinds of unit studies, tutorials, DIYs, all kinds of fun stuff. So I hope to see you again and um, leave some comments down in the comment section if this is something you might like to do with your kids or if you guys have done a prehistory unit. Um, I'd love to hear about what you guys have done. See you again. Bye-bye.